everyone, this is Philip Kowalski from ExxonBlock.net and here is a short video on my preferred shortcuts that I use and here's what you will learn today from this short video. So, you will learn how to apply often used number formats and cell formats and how to approach the overall cell formatting dialog. You'll also see how to enhance your usage of named ranges and finally we really utilize the go to dialog box in a very special way or in more than one special way so let's go to it and start all right so this is a short video to showcase all of my 14 keyboard shortcuts starting with the first one that's the end key followed by one of the four arrow keys and I, this is what it does press the end key and then the arrow down sends you to the last cell of the column same end key and arrow to the right sends you to the last cell of this row just remember this only works if there are non-empty cells so in cell a8 pressing end at arrow to the right would send me here because the next one is an empty one so what can we do about empty cells that leads us to the next shortcut f5 the go to dialog all right so go to dialog is pretty standard you can for example enter a fixed cell references reference here and it jumps there what you could also do is click this nice little button here click special and select for example all blanks just did something wrong f5 special blanks and now we all have all blanks in here and now we fill them up with zeros and press ctrl enter and now all empty cells are filled with zeros and if you take a look here now it jumps to the last cell of row 14. okay the next one is pretty nice thanks to mike gervin from excel is fun actually if you and open up the um, f5 and then enter l22 holding down the shift key and pressing the enter key selects this whole range starting with the cell from which you called up the go to dialog all right so next one is we just use a new learn technique and to the right and i'm holding just down the shift key so it also works down with holding the shift key for selecting this whole row and next one is control one for calling format cells dialog box and i would like to have it a nice green heading and or maybe let's just take this dark green and nice white font what about that does that look nice? Yes, Excel color is green, right? Okay, so next one is Control T. Simply put it anywhere inside this data range and press Control and hold Control and press T button. And this calls up this create table dialog. I say yes, my table has headers. And now I have a table here which I could filter. It has its own name here. I just call it annual sales and yeah that actually is quick creation of an excel table all right so the next one is demonstrated in this sheet here what i'd like to do is sum up for each row the um, total sales and i've taken this example from the microsoft web page so it's pretty easy and um, uh, i enter in the formula bar the equal sign and then I select this array here or this range here and multiply it by this range here. And now I comes the keyboard shortcut, it's control shift, holding both keys down and then pressing the enter key. Sums it up here and array formulas are always indicated by these curly brackets. You can only see them um, not in edit mode, but uh, like this. That's a Excel's way of showing, yes, I understood, you entered an array formula, all right? So, let's just go back here. Those numbers look a, bit, a little bit strange. So, the next three are formatting options, holding down Control and Shift together and pressing the one takes them to um, a number format with a, uh, in my country, in Germany, with a... Um, a bullet point as a um, or a, a dot as the um, 
thousands divider and a comma is the divider uh, for decimals. So let us let me just show you that. One time, uh, see, point and then comma. All right, what about euros? My currency here in Europe is euro, so control shift four formats as your standard currency. Okay, next is um, control shift five, and that simply turns any number into a percentage. Okay, so the next one is con holding down control and pressing page down or page up to navigate between worksheets of any workbook. Right? So the next two examples are again formatting and I just showcase them here in this cell. I'd like to make that percentage bold. So I press con hold down control and press B, makes it bold. And I'd like also to under uh, underline it. So I hold down control and press U. Okay. Um, second to la uh, uh, nearly through, um, shortcut number 13 is control F3 and that calls up the name manager. I work with names really a lot as you may have read in my blog post. Um, and uh, so you can see the table we already have created is referred here as a name. And we'd like to create a second name as well. In a standard way you usually create names like this. Um, you could go here to the name manager and click new. However, I do like to do it in an, another way. I hold down Control and Alt and press F3, and the previously selected is already uh, entered here in the refers to um, box. So, yeah. Um, however, I'd like to show you also that you can create a formula x, uh, for example for dynamic ranges and this is what we will do here for these total sales so we can sum them up later on control alt f3 we just go here and say okay, offset use this cell as a starting cell one two three in germany or europe it's a semicolon in the us you'd like to have the comma here then this count a column E minus one, one column Y, okay? If we now control F3, the total sales should be this area, okay? So now we could easily anywhere sum that up. And this is, of course, right, as you can see here. Okay, those were my 14 shortcuts. Hope this little video helps. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you'd like to download the cheat sheet, just visit www.excelblog.net and like my post to get the Excel cheat sheet for printout and everyday work. Thanks and bye bye.